Hello everybody, this is Tony First Gen. This is a replacement video for what I had up before. I'm going to do, be deleting or have deleted already the first of this video or the first six of these series of videos which are discovering the significance of Crimson Known Root. The reason I'm deleting them is because I have a awful background sound on it which sort of really m makes the videos sound really bad it's really horrible to listen to and I've, I've left them up for a long time like it and haven't done nothing but the more I look at them the more, sorry, the more I, I think about it and I feel I have to do something about it and I had done started to do something like I've, I've tried using uh, YouTube's music to drown <laughs> drown out the, the background sound. Well, what I did is I muted the, uh, the sound on my video, and then I put music from YouTube. But that didn't work. Oh, I tried watching it, and it was a little while ago, and I thought that's bloody awful. That's even worse than what I had it before, because their choice of music is so so bad that uh, I wouldn't want to listen to the music. And I wouldn't want to watch the video listening to that music, so I thought, well, that's it. I can't not do that. So I started deleting them, my videos, but leaving the first one up, which is this one here. But I thought, I can't do that either. I can't just delete them and leave everybody in the air. So I thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do replacement videos, but I'm not going to do a commentary all the way through with replacement. I will do some commentary, but I won't be doing the complete video because most of what I've done <laughs> I've got a clue <laughs> I've watched them again even with the bad sound and uh, I'm not sure, sure some of the things I was doing to quite on it because I'm a complete nutcase when I'm playing these ga role playing games and that's the reason I play them because I enjoy being an idiot <laughs> and I know quite a few people have called me an idiot too uh, and my style of commentary is not suited to a lot of people and they don't like it and that's why I don't get very many views because they think I'm, in, I'm an idiot <laughs> and babbling on about absolute nothing which is what I do I, I enjoy playing the game and I talk to um, my companion in this case which is Lydia where that, Lydia seems to be with all my characters I've got I've got about five different characters running around Skyrim all of them with Lydia, I'm going to get rid of her, and one of them, I could dare to get rid of her. I like her with her, I like having a character, I've always had characters, or at least tried to add characters in my role playing games, because I like to have characters with me, I like to feel as if I'm playing as a team, I enjoy doing that. Yeah, I know that's what co-op's for, but you can't play Bethesda's games in co-op, which is a real shame, because I'd love to do it, but you can't do it. So the next best thing is to have a companion, and I pretend she's talking to me, and I talk back to her. In fact, I actually take the piss out of her quite a lot, as if you've watched my videos, you wouldn't know I take the pee out of her hell of a lot. But uh, I like to have fun, and enjoy myself. So I can't really do the video commentary all over again, but for this first one I probably will, but whether I'll go all the way to the end, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we'll see, will we? I, okay, it's only 10 minutes long, so that's not too bad. So, but yeah, uh, a, a word about the quest itself. Right, the quest. I came across it by mistake. In fact, I come across the quest prematurely. The quest is uh, get back to your roots, which you got to find the significance of crimson known root. There's a, another type of known root that is crimson in colour. And it doesn't glow either. But it does give up the sound of crimson known root. So you can find it like that. But it's not in this world above ground, should I say. It's not above ground. It can only be found in one place, and that place is Blackreach. But like I said, I come across the quest because I put this mod in, what you're looking at now, which puts these trees all around Whiterun. And the modder must have put, well he did put, or she, I'm not sure which, 
can't remember their name or his or her name put a, a crimson nerve root in their mod and I'll come across the crimson nerve root in the wood and activate the quest prematurely where's Lydia gone? she's, she's always disappearing that woman she's absolutely always oh, disgusting girl disgusting she always leave me in the lurch these days <laughs> no she's not lovely girl lovely girl but um yeah uh, so that's what I'm doing I am um, redoing the first I think it's the first seven videos there's Lydia in the back she's running down the road the first seven videos so um but I won't be putting commentary all the way from I'll probably just put a, hello this is uh, blah 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 and uh, after that there would be music it would be music of my choice and the choice I've actually made <laughs> which is going to sound a bit odd is I'm going to put this remix music up the remix music isn't uh, the type of remix you might be thinking it is old Amiga 500 music from games various different games someone's got the music and they've remixed it obviously because the original music is copyrighted but having remixed it they've uploaded it to a site on the internet and I assume that remix music now is not copyrighted which I'm hoping because if it is copyrighted YouTube will take these videos off very quickly <laughs> <laughs> and they will never be seen again but I have got them on my drive which I'm going to be keeping them for a little bit longer probably so uh, if they do take them off I shall have to put it up again which will be the third time uh, yeah the uh, music I'm going to choose is hopefully in keeping with role-playing games so there was there is a bit of a choice quite a large choice I listened to a lots and lots of bits of music and decided on about 10 different tracks so far which I can choose from I may choose from others but we'll see what I should do is put a couple of pieces of music on each video and if if need be I've rolled them over so it takes up the whole of the video but what I'm doing here, alright, I'm going to have to explain what I'm doing here, otherwise you might be left in the dark. As I said, I picked up... No, that is not something magical like a first thought. Oh, what's this stone? Is that something magical? Is it a rune or something like that? No, it's not. It's just a stone with markings on. But there you go. That's what happens when you play the game around the first time. And I'm actually playing this game blind. And as you, What you see in front of you is what I see for the first time. Even though I've had this game for two years and I put in uh, over 350 hours into it, <laughs> this was the first time I did this quest. Or did went where I first went, which actually shows on the map if you look closely on the map, or did look closely, you find I've hardly discovered anything over here. But uh, why have I got my sword out? Oh, well, just put it away. Uh, yes, yeah, so. We're going to a place called first called Altarn. We've got to go through there before we can reach a place called Blackreach. That's where the Crimson Nerm Root is. Unfortunately, you will find out <laughs> there's a few things missing that I needed to have. <laughs> Couldn't actually gain access to uh, Blackreach. But that's like, oh, 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 spoilers there. I shouldn't do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the uh, if you want to skip those videos and get to the where I actually enter Black Reach, it, which is I think part 25. Now part 25, I'm actually using a different character, and the reason I'm using a different character is because this save game that I was using here got corrupted, and when I went back to an older, uncorrupted. Uh, save. I found I was miles, miles away from uh, actually doing the quest. I knew roughly where I could actually prematurely activate the quest, but 
my character was only about level six or something like that, <laughs> and I, I could not go into Black Reach with a uh, all time, whatever it was, with a, such a low level character. So I tried to get her up to speed, but it was taking so long. I, I, I asked, I just, what I should do is, I should use a different character who was already waiting to go into Black Reach, who already had the quest, but was part of the main quest because you've got to go into Black Reach in the main quest to pick up. Um, the Elder Scroll, which is in Black Ridge itself, so that's where the main quest really starts, and that's where the main quest for Crimson Gnome also really starts. So, if you want to go to Black Earth uh, Part 25, do so now. Thanks for watching this one, though. I'll see you later.